Welcome back to our expense reporting training series for open air. This video will show you the other way of populating expenses in your report by using the interactive worksheet grid. The other way to fill out your expense report is using the worksheet view. In order for this to work best, make sure your client project dropdowns have been abbreviated in your personal settings. Then when you go into worksheet view, you will see a grid from which you can add and duplicate entries. Worksheet view is good for meals, tips, and other expenses that you will need to enter repetitively and view in a batch to make sure you've captured everything. To go into the demo, you access personal settings from the small drop-down arrow next to your name in the upper right corner of the screen. Scroll down to the Display Options section and select one of the Remove Client Name options as shown here, then Save. Keep in mind that you will also need to make these changes in production once you are able to log in after we go live. To continue setting up the worksheet grid to totally work for you, you should further customize your grid view to get all the elements set up for quicker entry. Do this by clicking on the tooltip button on the left of your screen. You will see another way of ordering of the first four fields in our next demo that works nearly as well as this screenshot showing you a sample ordering sequence. Now for our demo. To customize your expense worksheet view, click on the tooltip on the left of your screen. Typically, you will want to remove columns, so select the column name on the right and remove selected to take it off of your view. Holding down the control key while you click allows you to select multiple columns at one time to move over. Remember that there are some fields that are required, such as the foreign, currency, and exchange fields. So you will just need to move those down to the bottom of the box so that they will not be in your main view. Keep in mind that you are making these customizations in your training account, and they will need to be made all over again once you are able to log into production after we go live. Now you have a customized grid view that you can very easily enter multiple receipts. You will fill in the date, project, and expense, and payment types. Keep in mind that the date that you're using is the actual date on your expense receipt that you are working from as a source document. A quick definition on the payment types. Company paid means it was paid with a company credit card whereas paid personally is anything you paid out of pocket or using a personal debit or credit card. So now we will switch to our demo and we have our expense report shells populated here. So we'll go into one and we're going into the, re the worksheet view and we can proceed with entering our expense line. So for the notes, you're going to use anything that you need to say to do reconciliations or document what you were doing, anything like that. Clients will not see what is in the notes field. So quantity is always going to default to one, and then you need to populate the price. So you'll do that here, but notice that the amount field automatically populates. I can't click into the amount field and enter it it's automatically populated based on the quantity and the price. Just as a way to kind of connect the two things, remember when we were in the receipts view, the amount field didn't even show up because it's just a calculation based on the quantity and the price. When you are in this view, remember to save your work frequently um, in order to be able to avoid losing your work. A nice functionality of the worksheet grid is to be able to add multiple rows all at once, such as when you need to get a week's worth of meals receipts or tips in quickly. To use this feature, you enter a representative receipt, select that row that the receipt is on, check the radio button at the top to add row duplicated from selected row, and then select from the add dropdown how many duplicate rows you want to be entered. Then you can go back over the rows and quickly change amounts or dates, maybe even payment methods. It's very important, again, to make sure that you save frequently, especially when you're doing duplicate rows, so that you don't lose your work. 
This slide is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two ways that you can get your individual expenses into your expense reports in open air and the strengths and weaknesses of both.